So I am going to do examples. Let's go back and return to the same situation we've been talking about up to this point. Rub the rod with some fur. Basic friction. And I move about a million electrons from the fur to the stick. All right? What's the charge of everything when we're done? All right, well, I have a million electrons going from the fur to the rod. Now, charge has to be conserved. The rod is clearly going to end up with a negative charge. From the added electrons. But since charge has to be conserved, and I took those from the fur, my fur has to have an equal positive charge. Charges had to come from somewhere. They came from the fur. Now let's talk about how much. Well, we know it's 10 to the 6th electrons worth. We know it's 1.602 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs for each electron. So the rod will have a charge of 1.602 times 10 to the minus 13 coulombs. Q is the letter we use for charge. I honestly don't know why we use Q. I can tell you why we don't use C, because C was taken for speed of light. So that's why we can't use C. So we use Q. And the charge on the rod is going to be negative. And the fur will have the exact same positive charge. <coughs>